Okay, as we get stuff moved to today's agenda, if we have any new attendees today that would like to say hello and introduce themselves, now is a great time to do that, and we welcome hearing from you. Hi, I'm Jim McAvoy. I work for Penguin Computing. We do mostly uh, HPC um, kind of applications, high performance computing, supercomputing kind of stuff, big clusters. And we have a, a VDI product that we were selling on OpenStack, but we're moving it to OpenShift and um, using Kubevert. And Kubevert's working really great if we have a physical GPU, but when we don't, I'm having performance problems with the uh, Thank you for the hard-coded GPU. Yourself. It is great to have you. Um, and, and again, you're welcome to move that item that you had been putting yeah. on the template into today's okay. agenda, and that'd be fine. Any, any uh, great length and details should go into the bug report, though, so that the um, agenda notes can stay. Okay, is that, bug, is that Bugzilla or Git? Um, that'll be GitHub. So the okay. bugs, if you'll see in the agenda, um, bug scrub down at the bottom shows you where we're going to be looking for super okay. bugs that might need triage. Okay. okay, great. Thank you. Sure thing. All right. And Andrew, it looks like we are coming up on getting closer to the close of Kubert Summit CFP. Yeah, we've got another, what, uh, eight business, no, more than eight, eight, day, eight regular days um, before the CFP closes. Um, yeah, we're, we're very keen to hear what people are working on within the community. Um, and for people that aren't contributing, but looking at Kubert from a user perspective, we're interested in how it's being used um use cases uh any kind of demos any kind of like uh forward thinking discussion um maybe there's something techno like technically that you're interested in talking about ways that we can change or maybe there's something within the, the community or um like our processes anything kind of like that if if you've got an idea and um want to uh talk about it to the entire Qbert community then please um submit something to the cfp I'm looking forward to seeing how the event goes and uh, any any CFPs where someone wants um, a second pair of eyes before submitting or just a little bit of help bouncing their, you know, polishing their idea. Again, always feel free to reach out, Cooper at Slack uh, or the mailing list. You can find volunteers for that. All right. And... And then another event item jumping to open floor. It looks like um let's see. Yeah, so this is I only said this out a couple of hours ago. Um we've got we only found out about it last week. I mean, we knew about it from last year, but we only got the official invitation um for Contrib Fest uh, at the end of last week. We're looking for um, small project ideas. Um, so I think the session in total is 90 minutes. So that 90 minutes includes like uh, welcoming the people, getting everyone settled, and then explaining what the problem is. Um, and yeah, basically the, I the ideal kind of a project is something that gets mostly done in that time frame, but not entirely done. From our experience last year, I think we had, and maybe someone on the call room is better than me, about 11 or 12 people. Um, to if, if that helps kind of like set parameters for anyone. But yeah, if, if you do have an idea for a small project like that, that might be interesting um, to help get new contributors um, um, introduced to Kubevert and getting a bit of additional work um, on, a, on a small component or something, then by all means, please um, bring it up with, with me or shoot an email or, or talk about it now um and just Andrew? while hello 
Hi, I have a question. What is uh, the outcome? That should be a PR that eventually will get merged or, I mean, it, if it's the time frame is just for contribute fast, uh, I mean, if we have reviews or stuff like this. So. It will, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there will be a follow-up or uh, how it works, yeah. Yeah, so excellent question. Um, so um, we had the three groups last year. One worked on docs and they got two docs PRs in and now I think they were merged potentially that day. The other two were slightly larger and more complicated, um, required a lot more background information. Um, one of them created a, I think three people were working on one PR um, which was ultimately not merged. And another one, which um, I think got some traction again about two weeks ago. And so they, there was a lot of background um, work that went into it that's then kind of continued on. So we, I would not expect a PR to necessarily be merged. Uh, it would be good to have one created, but um, I think one of the groups didn't get that done but they've got like the the design issue uh created um i think that got accepted and then they did the work in um in someone else's um repo to kind of like work work at the the structure of that does that answer your question yeah thanks perfect um anyone else have any uh questions or thoughts or ideas about the contrib fest very very small project Alrighty. Um, the other one is the Google Summer of Code. Um, uh, I'm trying to learn about it. It's open for another, I think, couple of weeks. As an organization, my understanding is that we offer, um, A, we commit to uh, providing an area of interest for someone to uh, create a project in. Um, so whether or, not that, whether or not that's like, oh, you know, we've got um, this particular component is, is right for someone to come in and, and help us with. Um, probably more important is that is that we commit to um, one or more people to act as mentors to the contributor. So this is someone that is um, probably has little experience with working in open source. It's a project that takes 12 weeks. And the idea is that there's a symbiosis between um, they get to work on an open source project in a welcoming and um, like very receptive way and they get to learn a lot um, and hopefully they learn a lot about the project and like the project because we think it's a great project and then um, we're basically helping them become a, a fully fledged contributor over time um, so yeah um, if everyone has any questions or ideas or anything to talk about with that All righty, uh, I'll leave that with you. Please please think about these things. Um, this is something that I can help uh, coordinate and facilitate, but I, I, I can't do much more than that. And I really need people to provide the, the um, I guess the, the seeds for these kinds of things and to tell me what is a viable project. Um, so yeah, please think about it and get back to me if you have any questions or thoughts. All right. It looks like that covers everything that is on the agenda right now. Um, make sure. Okay. Um, Jim, I know you're new on the call. I just wanted to clarify that I was not um, suggesting that your item did not belong on the agenda. So in, in case there is any miscommunication on my part, encourage you to add uh, what's important to you to the agenda. I just needed it on the right agenda and for specific details, yeah. of course, to be in a, a, a bug and not, not, not just covering the. Sure. Agenda. No problem. So that's all. Just wanted to make sure that there wasn't any uh, misunderstanding there. So, um, Hey, Andrew, do I need to pull up PRs or, to, to look for uh, anything idle.
I had to look through it. It looks as though everything that needs attention has been getting attention in the last week. Awesome. Our team rocks. That they do. All right. Let's see what we got. Somebody had GPU drivers. That's another thing I have to fight with. <clears throat> Sorry, stupid question. Have you tried to run without Gilbert? Does this work? Your image work? I'm not sure if the person yeah. who posted this is on the call. I don't think okay. so. Okay. Just a second, actually. Uh, let's see. Bouncing around windows real quick. I want to make sure I get this in. Kat, can you ask you also if it's just with Qvert or in Kubernetes or? We have been able to reproduce the issue. Other than requesting those definitions, anybody else see anything obvious? Guess, but specific to UEFI. Hmm. I 
That's interesting. I know I, I have NVIDIA Quadro working with EFI guests. Hmm. Well, at least get those definitions. All right, then. All right, so pod network interface set to masquerade. And it seems accessing things on the same subnet. Fails when Docker is installed. That's a fun one. Um, The only things that come to mind for me are if a subnet collision happened, which would result in no network function, or asking if bridge mode instead of masquerade could be tested. Just stab in the dark. Are those valid? I think my microphone's still working. Oh, I can hear you. All right. I just don't have an intelligent thing to add to the conversation.
Okay, we will run with that. I've definitely seen Docker do weird things to my kubevert hosts if I have them installed on the same system and I use a bridged host network. I did not investigate. I just uninstalled Docker. All right. Um, must advert. looking for spec mm. Let's see what we've got here. All right, and last but not least, multiple Cooper custom resource detected. Got all kinds of interesting ones today. Well, CRDs are cluster wide. That seems unrelated. Um. Y'all, I got nothing. I know that the bad certificate uh, can mess with the webhook. Oh, 
but duplicate CRDs is weird to me. Anyone else have experience? Okay. Um, I it's a pretty have... old version of Qbert. 5.2. Yeah. The situation described, though, shouldn't really come up. Although, they didn't say what version of Kubernetes they're on, which actually can have a big effect. Because... Kubert version 5.2 and Kubernetes version 1.25 definitely don't play nice. what happens there and is there anything else okay so it looks like we can rewind to jim's item on open floor having performance issues with the hard-coded software gpu attached to kubert vms hard-coded in kubert uses Hard coded Kubert uses that driver. Yeah. Cell driver better. I, I searched the news group on Google and mm -hmm. um, it looks like there was a decision made to make the GPU be a really non performant one because it was only going to be used in the VNC console on the web page. Um, that's with that's not what I'm looking to do is port a you know a virtual desktop application over to Kubernetes or OpenShift actually, and um, the performance is like atrocious. You know, like if you hit the application menu and like uh, um, Rocky um, eight. It can take up to 20 seconds for the application menu to display. So it's unusable. But uh, using the uh, you know the same image with the QXL driver just on, you know, just running it locally without any Kubert or anything, it, the performance is fine. Interesting. Um, anyone have? insight on the GPU, the soft emulated GPU stuff? I don't. Yeah. Okay, Jim, what I'm going to suggest is to go ahead and carry this to the mailing list, including... Um, is, is the mailing uh, list is the mailing list the, the news yes. group in Google? Yes, okay. it is. It's the Google sure. group. So okay. send it to the mailing list, include links for um, a, a bug with all of the details in the template filled out, then any like troubleshooting and things like that, notes and uh, pasted output that you can in include, and also include the um, previous threads on the topic that you have found in the mailing list, if you can include links yes. to those as well, so that all sure. the information is readily accessible. Okay. Sound good? Sounds good. All right. I'll try and get to that today. <laughs> awesome. Look forward to seeing what you got um, in that case. Thank you. It looks like we have covered today's agenda. Any last thoughts, kudos, shout outs, 
fun facts, dad jokes? Uh, I got a little shout out. Um, it's to no one in particular, but anyone on the uh, virtualization or the Qubit dev um, Slack channels that dives in and answers kind of questions like like Jim's or the stuff that we look at. Um, it's like, it's really nice to see. And every now and again, I, I try and like catch up on things. And I just see that so many of the questions and so many issues get like answered right there. And it's just kind of like, it's really nice. So anyone who reaches out to people um, and helps helps other people figure this stuff out. You know, thank you. I'd like to give a shout out to those people. That that is definitely second into here. It's good to see a healthy community and everyone pitching in. I am sure, Andrew, that nobody in particular appreciates your recognition. All right. Um, and with that, thank you all for attending and for your participation. Um, as always, we'll be here same time, same place next week for a uh, Keeper Community Meeting. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you.